In Loopy Pro 2.0, we've made routing MIDI in real time easier than before. You can set up a controller with multiple destinations and switch between them with ease, whether the destinations are MIDI tracks or audio unit instruments. Let's take a closer look at how to enable and disable MIDI destinations. Here I have my Launchpad X. I've set it up with four MIDI destinations, Add Station, Animoog Z, Blowfelt, and Whirly. Notice that Add Station's icon is a little bit brighter than the others. If we tap on it, we will see that it is enabled. And if we look at the dim icons, we see that they are disabled. When a destination is disabled, the MIDI source sends no MIDI to that destination. There are a few ways that we can enable and disable them. As we've seen, we can do it here in the mixer, but it generally is going to be more convenient to do it using widgets and MIDI bindings. The Enable Disable MIDI Destination action lets you enable and disable destinations without needing to touch the mixer. You can use it in widgets, MIDI bindings, and anywhere that Loopy Pro can use actions. When you set up the action, you choose the target destination and then a sub action of whether to toggle, enable, disable, or switch. Switch will enable the target and disable all other destinations of that source. This is very handy when you want to use just one synth at a time.